today we are going to study about the structural organization in animals especially we are focusing to the different points related with the ncrt okay through this pdf that in neat examination the direct questions can be asked for this chapter that is structural organization in animals that in this in this chapter we are going to study about some important types of the tissues that is the epithelium tissues we say epithelium kahenge second one the connecting tissues third one that is muscular tissue and the nervous tissue the human body is the complex body no doubt and the human body it is consist of only these four types of the tissue okay so human body jo hai bahut hi complex hai magar ye is charo इन चार टिश्यू से ये ह्यूमन बॉडी बनी हुई है ओके इफ यू सी द ओरिजिन ऑफ दिस डिफरेंट टिश्यूज व्हाट इज द ओरिजिन ऑफ दिस डिफरेंट टिश्यू वी नो दैट ड्यूरिंग द एम्ब्रियोनिक डेवलपमेंट दिस डिफरेंट टिश्यूज दे मे अराइज फ्रॉम पिक्टोडर्म मेजोडर्म और इंडोडर्म एपिथेलियम इट शोस एपिडर्मल एज वेल एज द सॉरी द इक्टोडर्मल मेसोडर्मल as well as the endodermal in origin then connective tissues they are mainly derived from the mesoderm of the embryonic layer that is primary embryonic layer okay mesoderm se ye arise hoti hai then muscular tissues this muscular tissues also develop from the mesoderm of the growing embryo while the nervous tissue it originate from the ectodermal lining of the embryo so these are the origins of different tissues <coughs> okay next one point in this chapter we are going to study about all these four different types of tissues one by one okay then what is meant by tissue tissue means the group of the similar cells having the common origin and they all the cell they are participates in the similar metabolic functions that is known as the tissue then human body is a complex and it is consist of only four basic types of the tissues as i told you earlier then two or more than two organs they combinedly perform participates in performing the same function or they show the interaction that is known as the, they form the organ system then different organ systems present in human bodies it is near about 11 different organ system present in the human body तो चलिए इसके बारे में डिस्कस कर सबसे पहला पॉइंट हमें डिस्कस करना है एनिमल टिश्यूज में दैट इज इपिथेलियल टिश्यू इपिथेलियल और द इपिथेलियम व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इपिथेलियम इपी मींस अपॉन थेलिया मींस लेयर दिस इपिथेलियम इसकी जो इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक है आपको याद रखना है हर एक जो टिश्यूज है उन्हें हमें कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट में स्टडी करना है जैसे कि what is the meaning of the tissues us tissue ka meaning kya hai then what is the characteristics of that tissues then what are the different types of that tissues and their locations and function location in the sense their examples and their functions so in part mein yahi part hai jo neat syllabus mein ya koi competitive exam mein puche jate hain okay we are focusing in this chapter we are focusing about these different the points of the tissue first one the epithelium tissue the meaning of epithelium tissue it means upon epithelia means that is the layer okay those tissues that form the layer of the body outside as well as internal layer of the body it is the epithelium tissue that cover externally as well as internally to the body so iska important point hai ye aapko yaad rakhna hai general characteristic of epithelium tissue is it form the linings of the body and body parts external lining as well as internal lining okay number second important point yahan par one point cover ho jata hai characteristic ka second one all the cells of epithelium tissues they are compactly arranged so ye aapko yahan डिफरेंट इपिथेलियम टिश्यूज नजर आ रहे हैं और ये सारे कॉम्पैक्टली अरेंज है ओके विदाउट इंटरसेलुलर स्पेसेस इफ द इफ इंटरसेलुलर प्रेजेंट 
if intercellular spaces are present, then it is very little or minute. Okay. So therefore, we consider the epithelium tissues. They are cells are compactly arranged without intercellular space. The third one important characteristic is this epithelium tissues. It contain different types of the junction. Is junction पर नीट में कई बार questions पूछे गए हैं. Okay. Here. There are three important types of the junctions that present in the epithelial tissues, and you have to mark this one. इसे आपको mark करना जरूरी है. The tight junction, adhering junction, and gap junction. These three junction can be asked in the NEET examination. Tight junction means junction का मतलब क्या है? Junction means the structure which is present between the two cells. Okay, the structural proteins that form. the junction that form the layering between the two cells that is the junction then tight junction in this tight junction it keeps all the cells compactly attached with each other and this tight junction it stop the substances leaking outside or inside of the cell or it avoid the transporting or leaking the content of one cell into the another cell that is known as the tight junction then what is by adhering junction it is known as the cementing junction okay it cement the all the cells with each other tightly okay with the help of the proteins then protein fibers we can say or protein strands then gap junction a small gap can be present between the two cells or the transporter protein present between the two cell that acts as a channel for the transporting the substances From one cell into the another cell is known as the gap junction. इसे हम gap junction कहते हैं. ठीक है? So these junctions are the general characteristic of epithelial tissue. Such type of junctions, adhering, then tight, and the gap junction is generally present in the epithelial tissue. The other important characteristic is these epithelial tissues they have. Yes, they have the free ends. Now. If we observe all the epithelial tissues, they have the free ends. Their ends are free, and they are based on the basement membrane. They are situated on the basement membrane, and this basement membrane it is the connective tissues. Okay. Now, these epithelial tissues they based on the basement membrane, and this basement membrane it is the part of the connective tissue. This is the fourth important general characteristic. Then fifth one. epithelial tissues are avascular connect avascular tissues avascular tissues means they do not have the any network of the capillaries okay that nourish them or perform the transportation of substances to them now as i told you these epithelial tissues they are situated on the basement membrane and this basement membrane they do not have the linings of the capillary network in spite of this below this epidermis the connective tissue is present and in this connective tissue there we can see the vascular lining of the the vascular lining of that is arteries and veins it is present then how does this epithelial tissues get their nourishment from this blood cell now the nourishment of this epithelial tissues is carried out by the process of diffusion the different types of the substances as well as the gases that is flowing that is flowing with this blood inside the vascular tissue these substances they diffuse into the connective tissues and from this connective tissues these substances get diffused inside the epithelial cell so these are the important characteristic of the epithelial tissues so ye epithelial tissues ke important characteristic aapko yaad rakhna hai चलिए डिस्कस करते हैं दिस इज अबाउट द जनरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक देन सेकंड वन ये हुआ थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट ये हुआ सेकंड पॉइंट फर्स्ट वन इज द मीनिंग सेकंड वन इज जनरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक थर्ड वन इज द टाइप्स ऑफ द एपिथेलियल टिश्यूज एंड देयर लोकेशंस एज वेल एज देयर फंक्शन ओके तो चलिए ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ द लेयर्स एपिथेलियल टिश्यूज कैन बी डिवाइडेड इनटू टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स दैट इज सिंपल एपिथेलियल टिश्यूज एंड कंपाउंड एपिथेलियल टिश्यू नाउ these all these figures are of the simple epithelial tissues why because these epithelial tissues they are consist of only the single layer of the cell 
when the epithelial tissue consists of the single layer of the cell it is known as simple epithelial tissue a multi layered epithelial tissue is known as the compound epithelial tissues like here you can see in this case the compound epithelial tissues it is consist of multi layer ye bahut sare layers se bani hui hai see here many layers they form the multi layer epithelial tissue then let us discuss about the different location and function that is performed by all different types of the simple epithelial tissues so simple epithelial tissues ke aur different types hote hain on the basis of their structures size shape here the epi simple epithelial tissues is divided into three main types especially on the basis of their structures these are the squamous epithelial tissues epithelial epithelial tissues and columnar epithelial tissues so ye teen different tarah ke epithelial tissues mein ye divided hai sabse pehla the squamous epithelial tissue okay sabse pehla iske bare mein discuss karenge what is squamous epithelial tissue the flat epithelial tissues that compactly arrange okay that compactly arrange with each other like the types that is known as the that type of the flat epithelial tissues is known as the squamous epithelial tissue then where they are present the squamous epithelial tissues they are present along the inner lining of the blood vessels arteries or vein agar hum inka section lete hai then you can see the three different lining the internal one is that is that is we can the tunica interna then middle one is tunica media and external one is tunica externa these three different lines form the layers of artery and the vein wall out of these the theca interna part of artery and vein it is covered with the squamous it is lined by the squamous epithelial tissue and this type of this squamous epithelial tissues of the blood vessels they are endodermal in origin hence the epithelial tissues that present along the inner wall of artery and vein is as well as along the wall of the capillary is known as endothelium why they are known as endothelium because they are endodermal in origin that is they originate from the endo that is the endodermal lining of the primary embryonic layer therefore this tunica interna of artery and vein as well as the wall of the capillary is known as endothelium lining then what is the function of the capillary wall capillary layer now we know that the capillary is consist of a thin wall layer okay along the wall of alveoli see here along the wall of the alveoli this alveolar wall also consist of the squamous epithelial layer then this alveolar lining is also covered with the capillary network and the wall of capillary it is also consist of the squamous epithelial tissue hence these squamous epithelial tissues of these alveoli as well as capillary it perform the easy diffusion of the respiratory gases that is the oxygen from alveolus into the blood and the transport of carbon dioxide from deoxygenated blood into the alveolar cavity hence the diffusion of these two important gases carbon dioxide and oxygen it occurs along the alveolus and the endothelium lining of the capillary network why because the squamous epithelial tissues they lie the wall of alveoli as well as the wall of capillary that perform easily allow the transport of the gases so that is the filtration and diffusion is the important function of these squamous epithelial tissue the squamous epithelial tissues is also present in the nephron now you know the structure of the nephron i'm drawing here the rough diagram of the nephron you you are well familiar with the structure of the nephron this nephron their inner wall now this part is the glomerulus you know that this this lining part is the glomerulus and this glomerulus is the network of the capillary you know about this then this is known as the bowman's capsule the wall of bowman's capsule the wall of bowman's capsule is covered with the squamous epithelial tissue lining the squamous epithelial tissue lining that lies 
the peripheral that is known as the parietal layer and the squamous epithelial lining that lies around the Bowman's capsule around the that is glomerulus it is known as the ise kahenge that is the photocytes or it is, it is known as the visceral layer and this visceral layer in this visceral layer the squamous epithelial cells they modified into a finger like cells and that finger like cells are known as the photocytes and these photocytes they have the small minute pores or small minute pores or slits that allow the filtration process the filtration of blood is possible due to the squamous epithelial lining present along the glomerular area is glomerular area ke around mein is glomerular area ke around mein jo squamous epithelial tissue ki lining hai visceral layer mein isi ki wajah se kya hota hai blood filtration hota hai okay that is the important point then you should know the location of the squamous epithelial tissue lining ठीक है तो ये आपको याद रखना है और इनके फंक्शन भी याद रखने ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन पार्ट चलिए अगला पार्ट दिस कैमस इपिथिल टिश्यू इट इज आल्सो प्रेजेंट अलोंग द अलोंग द लाइनिंग ऑफ सिलोमिक कैविटी सिलोमिक कैविटी जिसे हम कहते हैं द कैविटी प्रेजेंट अलोंग द द कैविटी दैट इज द फ्लोरल कैविटी ऑफ द लंग्स द पेरिकार्डियम कैविटी ऑफ द हार्ट and as well as the different filomic cavities it contain they it, their wall is surrounded with the squamous epithelial tissue lining aur aapko pata hai ki filomic cavity jo form hoti hai it is formed due to the splitting of the mesoderm splitting of mesoderm hence hence the squamous epithelial tissue lining of the squamous the that is the squamous epithelial tissue lining that form the filomic cavity is known as the mesothelium isiliye jo silomic cavity form karne wale jo squamous epithelial tissue ki lining hai use hum kya kehte hain use hum mesothelium kehte hain kyun kehte hain kyunki wo mesoderm ki splitting se form hoti hai isiliye use hum mesothelium kehte hain so aapko yaad rakhna hai blood vessels mein paaye jane wali squamous epithelial tissue lining ko hum endothelium kehte hain aur silomic cavity mein paaye jane wali ko hum mesothelium kehte hain theek hai so these are the important point that you should know the next one is cuboidal epithelium okay next one is cuboidal epithelium okay the cuboidal epithelial tissue yani their shape is like the cube okay one minute the cuboidal the cuboidal epithelial tissues it is consist of the compound that is the cuboidal shape cell now see here in this case you can see out of these four different figures this is the figure of the cuboidal epithelial tissues and all the cells of this cuboidal epithelial tissues they are like the cube ye cube ki tarah hote hain theek hai the next one then this cuboidal epithelial tissues ye kahan par paaye jate hain ise aapne yaad rakhna hai ओके okay, कुछ एक्स्ट्रा पॉइंट्स हम यहाँ पर आपको बता रहे हैं उसे भी आपने साथ में नोट डाउन करना है ठीक है कभी कोई पॉइंट्स अदर डिफरेंट सिस्टम में ये सारे पॉइंट्स पाए जा सकते हैं तो इसी वजह से जो डिफरेंट तरह के जो हमने एक्स्ट्रा जो पॉइंट्स हम बता रहे हैं वो कहीं ना कहीं आगे किसी चैप्टर के संबंधित रहेंगे ठीक है तो चलिए क्यूबाडल इपिथिरियल टिश्यूज वेर दे आर प्रेजेंट द क्यूबाडल इपिथिरियल टिश्यूज दैट इज दे आर क्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर ओके then they are present along the wall of the ducts then tubular parts of the nephron of the kidney and aur kahan par rehte hain okay aapko pata hai reproductive systems ke bare mein to uske bare mein bhi hum aapko bata de ye kahan par paaye ja sakte hain now sabse pehle yahan dekh lenge the cuboidal epithelial tissues lining ye kahan par paaye ja sakte hain now this cuboidal epithelial tissues they are present along this one is the you know about this this one is the nephron or is nephron mein this is the part of pct this is the part of dct and this is the part of collective tubules okay along the wall of pct dct along this part pct dct as well as the collecting tubules these cuboidal epithelial tissues are present 
एंड दिस क्यूबाइडल इपिथेलियल टिश्यू वॉट इज देयर इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन इनका क्या फंक्शन है देयर फंक्शन इज द री एब्सॉर्बन एंड द सिक्रीशन बच्चों ये फंक्शन याद रखना है ऑलरेडी यहाँ पर दिया गया है रीएब्सॉर्बन एंड सिक्रीशन इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द इट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द क्यूबाइडल इपिथेलियल टिश्यू प्रेजेंट अलॉन्ग द नेफ्रॉन Why they perform absorption and reabsorption? Because the cuboidal epithelial tissues they get modified. ये जो cuboidal epithelial tissues होते हैं cube की तरह होते हैं. इनके जो apex होते हैं, their apex get modified into a small minute hair-like structure, and that minute hairy structures are known as the microvilli. These microvilli also known as the brush border because they looks like the bristles of the brush. okay it increase the absorptive area as well as the secretion area hence it is known as brush bordered epithelial tissue so aapko do different tarah ke epithelial tissues mein brush border paaye jayenge modified cuboidal epithelial tissues that is the brush bordered or the that is microvilli bearing cuboidal epithelial tissues present in pct part dct part and collecting tubules of the nephron okay तो ये आपको याद रखना है देन नेक्स्ट वन देन और कहां पर ये प्रेजेंट हो दे प्रेजेंट अलोंग द डक्ट्स ऑफ द सलाइवरी ग्लैंड पेनक्रेटिक ग्लैंड पेनक्रेटिक डक्ट और सलाइवरी डक्ट जो होते हैं वहां पर भी हमें क्यूबॉर्डल इपिथेल टिश्यूज के जो दैट इज द लाइनिंग नजर आती है इसके अलावा इफ यू ऑब्जर्व इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द वॉल ऑफ द टेस्टिस एंड द ओवरी नाउ वी नो दैट the germinal epithelial tissues that is the the germinal epithelial tissues present along the lining of the testes the seminiferous tubule of the testes and the lining of the ovary these cuboidal epithelial tissues they are in a state of continuous division and they are they undergo the meiosis division to form the gamete okay hence the cuboidal epithelial tissues present in ovary and testes is known as the germinal epithelial tissues because they participates in the formation of the gametes that is the germinal cells okay germinal cells kahenge hum in aur is cuboidal epithelial tissue ko hum germinal epithelial tissue kahenge because they participates in the formation of the gametes is wajah se theek hai chaliye to yahan par hua point cuboidal epithelial tissue then second one the third type of connective uh, epithelial tissue is simple epithelial tissue is columnar epithelial tissue and why it is so because they are looks like the column column ki tarah ye nazar aate hain iski wajah se ise columnar epithelial tissues kaha gaya hai to dekhiye these are the columnar epithelial tissue okay ye dono bhi columnar epithelial tissues hain and this c is the columnar epithelial tissues without the cilia and d is the columnar epithelial tissues with the cilia this d is the modified columnar tissues that is known as ciliated columnar epithelial tissues and this uh, c it is the non modified unmodified type of the columnar epithelial tissues okay columnar epithelial tissues mein kai sare modification hame nazar aate hain to yahan par humne aapko bataya okay ciliated columnar epithelial tissues okay it is present ye kahan par rehte hain it is present along the that is the fallopian tube you know about the fallopian tube fallopian tube is also known as the ov duct okay where the transfer of the the transfer of the sperm as well as the ovum it is carried out by the ciliated epithelial tissues present in the fallopian tube ye point yaad rakhna hai then bronchioles the wall of the bronchioles also bear the type of the ciliated columnar epithelial tissues and it perform the proper that is propulsion of the mucus okay from respiratory into the outside the body from respiratory conducting system to the outside of the respiratory system so ye bronchioles or fallopian tubes mein jo modified columnar epithelial tissues hote hain wo that is ciliated columnar epithelial tissues hote hain is point ko aapne dhyan rakhna hai chaliye next one point iske alawa aur kahan par ye paaye jaate hain the ciliated columnar epithelial tissues is also present in epidermal cells you know about this epidermal cell epidermal cells do you know this okay epidermal cells 
ये होगा ठीक है एपेंडेमल सेल्स पता है क्या आपको दिस एपेंडेमल सेल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द सेंट्रल कैनाल ऑफ द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड ओके ऑफ द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड ओके स्पाइनल कॉर्ड के ये सेंट्रल कैनाल में प्रेजेंट होते हैं और कंटिन्यूअस इसकी बीटिंग की वजह से ही यू नो दिस इज द ब्रेन ब्रेन में से द पोस्टीरियर पोर्शन फ्रॉम द ब्रेन इट इज द part of the spinal cord if you take the ps of the spinal cord and in this ps you can see such type of the butterfly like structure in the center of the so you can see the central canal and this central canal it is lined with the ependymal cells ependymal cells are the modified ciliated columnar epithelial tissue the continuous beating of the ependymal cell perform the continuous flow of the cerebrospinal fluid so is point ko yaad rakhna hai nervous system already discussed ki hui hai to usko pata hai then साथ ही साथ दो वेंट्रिकल्स होते हैं ब्रेन में ब्रेन में डिफरेंट वेंट्रिकल्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं टोटल फोर होते हैं ठीक है तो दिस वेंट्रिकल्स देयर वॉल इज आल्सो सराउंडेड विद द इपिंडेमल सेल्स दैट इज द सिलिएटेड कोलोमनार एपिथेलियल टिश्यू ठीक है तो ये पॉइंट याद रखना है कोलोमनार एपिथेलियम टिश्यू के लिए तो ये हुआ मॉडिफाइड कोलोमनार एपिथेलियम टिश्यू इसके अलावा और एक कोलोमनार एपिथेलियम टिश्यू होते हैं मॉडिफाइड जिसे हम कहते हैं गोब्लेट सेल ओके ग्लैंडुलर एपिथेलियल टिश्यू दैट इज द गोब्लेट सेल okay if we observe the goblet cells present in the that is the, along the lining of the gastric gland that is the we can say that is the stomach and the intestine intestine or stomach jo hote hai inki jo lining hoti hai inki jo inki jo lining hoti hai wo cuboidal epithelial tissue se bani hui hoti hai and this cuboidal epithelial tissue lining they get modified into some type of the mucus secreting cell as well as some endocrine cells the goblet cell or the mucus the mucus secreting cells they are the no doubt one of the type of the glandular cells ye tarah ke glandular cells bhi hote hain okay okay theek hai so ye mucus cells hote hain jo mucus secrete karte hain jo ki modified glandular modified columnar epithelial tissues jise hum kahenge jise aap goblet cell bhi keh sakte ho ya glandular cell keh sakte ho ya mucus cell bhi keh sakte ho okay the some columnar epithelial tissue they get modified into the endocrine glands okay like exocrine and endocrine glands so ye kaun se hote hain specially in the pancreas that is in the pancreas liver as well as the different columnar tissues present in the stomach as well as the intestine these columnar epithelial tissues they modified and they perform the function of the exocrine or endocrine part of the gland the endocrine glands <coughs> and exocrine gland so inke bare mein dekhna hoga what is meant by exocrine gland exocrine gland kise kehte hai the gland that release their that the gland they are known as the duct, ducted gland this gland they release their secretion directly into the alimentary canal usse hum exocrine gland kehte hai and the exocrine gland they do not release their secretion into the blood okay they have the ducts ओके तो जो एक्सोक्राइन ग्लैंड होते हैं इनमें डक्स होते हैं जैसे कि द सलाइवरी ग्लैंड एज वेल एज द पेंट्रिया इज द मिक्स टाइप ऑफ ग्लैंड पेंट्रिया कंटेन द एक्सोक्राइन सेल्स कोलोमनार सेल एज वेल एज इंडोक्राइन कोलोमनार सेल ओके देन द लीवर सेल्स दे आर लीवर इट इज आल्सो द एग्जांपल ऑफ एक्सोक्राइन ग्लैंड द गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड्स द डिफरेंट ग्लैंड्स प्रेजेंट इन द द डिफरेंट ग्लैंड्स प्रेजेंट इन द स्टमक दैट इज नोन एज द गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड लाइक द पराइटल सेल्स chief cells chief cells ko hi hum kya kehte hain that is also known as the papillary cell then parietal cell is also known as doxontic cells and the mucus cells these are the exocrine gland okay of the that is the stomach then in this time may be is tarah ke different glands hote hain jo exocrine hote hain then endocrine gland ka example the different endocrine gland present in the alimentary canals that include the g endocrine cells that is present in the gastrin part okay then साथ ही साथ ऐसे ही जो इंडोक्राइन पार्ट होते हैं ये डिफरेंट तरह के ऑर्गन में भी पाए जाते हैं जैसे कि पेंक्रियाज पेंक्रियाज में जो आईलेट्स ऑफ लैंगर हैं ये भी इंडोक्राइन पार्ट है ओके जो दैट इज दैट इज ग्लूकैगॉन इंसुलिन और साथ ही साथ सोमैटोस्टेटिन ऐसे हार्मोन का सिक्रेशन करते हैं तो इंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड दे रिलीज देयर सिक्रेशन डायरेक्टली इन द ब्लड ओके तो एक्जोक्राइन ग्लैंड के यहाँ जो एग्जाम्पल दिए हैं इन सबको लर्न कर लीजिए एक्जोक्राइन ग्लैंड दैट इज the mucus gland salivary gland then the glands present in the ear that is the sudoriferous gland then the oil secreting gland that is the sebum gland sebum 
ओके हमारे सेबेशियस ग्लैंड जो होती है दैट इज द एक्सोक्राइन ग्लैंड देन मिल्क सिक्रेटिंग ग्लैंड दैट इज द एज वेल एज द डिफरेंट डाइजेस्टिव ग्लैंड प्रेजेंट इन द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम दीज आर द इम्पोर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एक्सोक्राइन ग्लैंड इंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड जो है ऑलरेडी नर्वस सिस्टम में कई सारे इंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड है इसका हम एग्जाम्पल के तौर पर इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं देन ग्लैंड में भी यूनिसेलुलर और मल्टी सेलुलर हियर यू कैन सी द मल्टी सेलुलर ग्लैंड ओके एंड हियर इट इज यू कैन सी द यूनिसेलर ग्लैंड like the mucus cell is a unicellular gland then the pancreatic glands then the, that is the exo multicellular glands okay agla point we will see last point that is the compound epithelial tissues okay iske baad hum that is the connective tissue ko discuss karenge now the compound epithelial tissues as i told you earlier these compound epithelial tissues are multi layered tissues okay तो इस कंपाउंड इपिथेलियल टिश्यूज के डिफरेंट टाइप्स होते हैं जैसे कि स्ट्रेटिफाइड इपिथेलियल टिश्यूज जो हमारे स्किन को प्रोटेक्शन देते हैं हमारे स्किन को प्रोटेक्शन देने वाले टिश्यूज को हम स्ट्रेटिफाइड कंपाउंड इपिथेलियल टिश्यूज कहते हैं जो कैरेटिनाइज हो सकती है और हमारी जो पैलेट है वो भी स्ट्रेटिफाइड कैरेटिनाइज एज वेल एज नॉन कैरेटिनाइज स्टेमस इपिथेलियल टिश्यूज की लाइनिंग होती है एक जो है दैट इज द यूरोथेलियम हम जिसे कहते हैं द the compound epithelial tissues present in the urethra urinary bladder along the wall of urinary bladder and ureter it is the multi layer compound epithelial tissue lining and is known as the transitional epithelium tissues use hum transitional epithelial tissues kehte hai jise urothelium bhi kaha jata hai kyunki wo sirf urinary system ke part mein pai jati hai is wajah se okay to yahan par hamare compound epithelial